Welcome to IGSS Online Training. I'm Per Fredriksen from Seven Technologies Denmark, and I'm here to present our SCADA system IGSS. This presentation is followed by an exercise that uh, we recommend that you do. This is Lesson 11, Graphs and Trending. In this lesson, you will learn how to create a window type graph in IGSS. And you will also learn how to create an embedded graph. And finally, uh, how to create dynamic graphs in our system. The window type graph in IGSS is the one we see on screen here. Uh, it is called the window type graph because it is presented in a window of its own. In this particular case, you can see that I have four different objects, Q1 to Q4, presented in the same graph. In a graph in IGSS, you can show up to 10 IGSS objects. You can show analog, digital, table, or counter objects. The data source may be log data or BCL data. And BCL data in IGSS, they are reduced values such as the average minimum and max values for an object during a period. We say in IGSS that we have three different subtypes of the predefined of the uh, graph. We have a predefined graph, which is uh, a graph defined by the system designer in definition. I'll show you how to do this in a minute in the system. We also have a dynamic graph, which is created on the fly by the operator during supervision. A dynamic graph in IGSS can be saved and reopened at a later time. Finally, we have the static graph, which is just a snapshot of a graph saved as a file. When we want to create a predefined graph in IGSS, we go into the definition module and we go into the graph menu and we create. So let's go online to do this particular task. We are in the uh, definition module now and uh, we are in the plants area of the demo configuration. We move into the graph menu and we choose create. The first thing we need to do is to give the graph a name and uh, let's present some flow meters in this particular graph that we're creating. Give it a description, flow meters. And as you can see, the options are similar to the ones we saw for the diagram. Uh, we must remember to select name to menu if we want to show it in the graph menu of supervise. We can choose to have the name or description as the caption of the graph when we present it to the operator. We click OK to go into the properties dialog. And now we have all the options for the graph. There are lots of them, but it's not very complicated. First of all, we need to select the objects that we want to show in the graph. And as you can see, you have 10 object uh, items here. Uh, let's take the first one. We want the flow meters and we have named them Q1, we select first, that's uh, flow meter 1, and we take Q2, Q2, Q3, and Q4. As you can see, the data source by default is log data, and we'll keep this for this presentation. The other option is BCL. When I have selected log, I can choose between the atoms that are enabled for this particular object. So in this case, I have high alarm, high limit, process value, and low alarm. And I'll select the process value. That's the one I want to show in my graph. When I Define a graph in IGSS, I can also define a start offset. Uh, so if I put in, let's say I put in two hours here, so HH for hours, then it means that 
when I start this graph as an operator, it will automatically suggest that I go two hours back and continue from that period. Over here on the right side, you can see that the time resolution is set to automatic. It means that it will take the lowest time resolution or lowest scan interval of the objects present in the graph. Also, you can see that each object here is assigned a unique color. You can, of course, change these if you want to. And finally, we are also allowed to put on a legend for our graph. We can show details, which means that we will, in this case, for analog objects, also get the measurement scale for these four analog objects that we see here. So let's click OK to see how the predefined graph will look like now. These are the default colors, of course. I can resize the window to the size I want to present to the operator in Supervise. And then I can change my colors. Right-click, color, white, right-click, color, and I'll take a blue color out here. And I'll also change the font so that I can see a little more clearly what's going on, like this. this and this is this is what I want this is my graph so what I'll do now is I'll simply close this window and I will deploy this change that I've just made so I'll go into my file menu and I'll say set as active configuration first and then I'll go into the file menu again and I'll say install configuration because I want to install these changes I've made. Yes and OK. And it says installation complete with no errors. That's fine. I click no and I'm actually ready to go online now. I go into the start menu, double click the starter. Supervise goes online. I move to the plants area where I created my graph. And then I go to the graph menu to choose flow meters. The graph I just created. I click on it and it automatically goes back two hours because I had a start offset of two hours. I click OK. I'm missing some uh, data here, but that's OK. I move into the graph and as you can see I now get my measurement values here. Each object has its own color and we can see all the values here. And of course we can zoom in on this graph and do all sorts of things as an operator. I'll move back to uh, the presentation again to show you the other alternative you have in IGSS, which is the um, which is the embedded graph. So the alternative to the window type graph that we have just seen is the embedded graph, and this is illustrated on this diagram where we have. In fact, four different embedded graphs, drum one to four. Um, these graphs are defined in almost the same way as I just did for the window type graph. They have the same possibilities, uh, although the presentation is a little bit different. But this is a very good way of showing many objects on one diagram in a graphical form for the operator. Thank you for your attention. For more information, please visit www.70dk/igss.